My name is Matt Ayton, and I'm a certified SolidWorks professional with Go Engineer. This video covers several techniques for creating text for manufacturing purposes in SolidWorks, one of which is new to SolidWorks 2014. The first technique can be employed to model silk screened or painted text. I'll use the split line command to subdivide an existing face into several coincident faces. I'll employ the projection option and then designate a sketch and the face to be divided. The sketch consists of this text and this is the face. The result is many independent faces which I can then modify the appearance of. Modifying appearances is covered in other videos. Another tool that produces similar results is the wrap feature. It can be used where text needs to be wrapped around a non-flat face. I'll employ the scribe option to subdivide an existing face into multiple coincident faces. I'll use the same sketch and this cylindrical face. The next technique is for cases where text is to be cut through the full thickness of a workpiece, like water jet, plasma, or laser cutting. The critical step is the type of font for the text. Microsoft Windows provides a stencil font, but other stencil fonts can be added. Stencil fonts create text where interior shapes remain connected. There are no islands in letters like O, E, and D. The last technique is new for SOLIDWORKS 2014 and is for engraving and other similar machining processes. It also relies on a special font, this one called OLF Simple Sans OC. The text produced consists of single-stroke characters rather than closed shapes. It is, of course, unsuitable for features where closed profiles are required. This has been Matt Ayton with Go Engineer. Mm -hmm.